for Atlanta. Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I'm going to talk about Aquaman. Now, um, I first found out about Aquaman when, back when I was um, visiting my mother's side of the family for Christmas of 1997. I was 12 years old at the time. No, no, sorry, I mean, I was 11. And, well, how I found out about Aquaman was, well, it was when I was watching episodes of the super fans over there and uh that's what that was my introduction to uh, aquaman of course over there it's pronounced aquaman so i seen uh, some episodes you now uh sometime after me my mother and sister uh returned to america around in january 98 and i I really turned 12 at the time. Well, uh, the next time I saw Aquaman on TV was from an episode of Superman the Animated Series. The episode was titled Fish Tale, and well, um, what happened in the episode was that Lex Luthor was um, polluting the ocean, or at least his company was, and well, Lois happened to find Aquaman uh, captured because, well, uh, Lex thought that Aquaman was, um, ruining his company or something. Eventually, uh, Aquaman escaped, and then, um, well, he was ready to, uh, lead the war against the surface world, but Superman came and, uh, convinced him, uh, to, um, to not go to war, and so, he decided to get the surface world in his hands, and yeah, that was his only appearance. That was Aquaman's only appearance on that show. So, uh, oh yes, and then uh, came the uh, Justice League cartoon, which uh, started to air in 2001 when I already started high school. Well, um, yes, he appeared in a. Uh, well, uh, yeah, he did appear in a. Uh, episodes of Justice League, and, well, the first time I saw his appearance over there, I was kind of confused, because, well, um, when I first saw Aquaman, you know, during my first introduction, well, uh, his, uh, he had a short blonde hair, and, um, uh, his, uh, orange shirt with long sleeves and green pants, but in the Justice League cartoon, he had a long yellow beard, long blonde hair, and, uh, he didn't wear a shirt. It was, you know, he was shirtless. However, he did still have his green pants. And wouldn't be on the, oh yes, and now, uh, in the two-part episode of his, uh, appearance on that show, well, uh, it was a part where, um, his brother, Orm, who then said, uh, go by the name Ocean Master, well, um, wanted to kill Aquaman, and uh, Aquaman's son, but Aquaman managed to um, to save both himself and his son. However, he had to sacrifice his left hand, and eventually it got replaced with a hook. And then, uh, when the show became Just League Unlimited, well, it's revealed that Aquaman teamed up with Doctor Fate and Hot Girl to. Uh, defeat some kind of threat, and uh, there was an episode where them and uh, other members of Justice League managed to um, defeat the threat, however, um, it resulted in the sacrifice of Solomon Grundy. Now, uh, the next time I saw Aquaman on TV was um, in an episode of Smallville, it was the fifth season, and uh, I was already less than 19, about going to turn 20 in a few months afterwards. And this was supposed to be uh, Aquaman's live action appearance on TV. At least one is not a parody. And well, um, that's when I first learned his name was Arthur Curry. At least that was his human name. 
and well, he was introduced as a lifeguard, and you know, he uh, he met Clark, and well, um, they thought they could uh, start some kind of thing with uh, super old people, but Clark said he doesn't think he was ready for something like that yet. And then uh, Ark returned to Small Lake again, and he became a that's right, he became a member of this team uh, that was uh, funded by all of the queens, the Queen Arrow. And then she, um, oh yes, um, and then uh, his other appearance was uh, another episode of Smallville where he, uh, let's see, Green Arrow and Black Canary, I think. Yeah, they were looking for clubs which were missing for a few months because they were captured, but then they were released. And then Aquaman's, I mean, our first final appearance on Smallville was this, um, it was, uh, was in season 10, and that's where, uh, well, I was introduced to uh, his wife, Nera. And that's where we revealed that um, his uh, human name was, well, his Alanian name is Orin. But they never said anything about Land Atlantis and Smallville. But uh, he did, um, it is revealed that uh, he wasn't fully human, so, like Clark, he did have the uh, origin, not from a from the known world, something like that. Now let's see. Oh yes, and also um, during back when the Justice League cartoon was still running, um, I did see uh, these Aquaman shorts, short cartoon series, and well, back then I didn't know it was a TV show from the sixties. I wouldn't have learned it until you know after I became an adult. And as for the Aquaman cartoon from the 60s, well, um, that's where I was first introduced to his psychic Aqualad. And later I le learned his name was Scar. Also, Aqualad has also appeared on the series Teen Titans. Not Teen Titans Go, but the one before that. Yeah. And uh, well, he wasn't that much of a regular, he, you know, he only uh, appeared uh, some episodes from time to time. And also, the characters of Mermaid and Barnacle Boy, they are parodies of Aquaman and Aqualad. Oh, I see. Oh, and then I uh, see, uh, oh, I also learned that, uh, that there was the Aquaman pilot that was was supposed to be the start of the series. It's supposed to be like Smallville, where uh, Arthur learned where he came from and come to some training, but that series never got picked up. However, I did manage to find uh, the full pilot online. I don't know if it's on YouTube or not. Maybe it was, but you should check it out. It is, you know, look for it. And I, and only that, but the Smallville, uh, DVD set, which I have, you know, I have all 10 seasons and one, all 10 seasons and uh, one set. Well, um, one of the special features is the Aquaman pilot. And only that, but the Aquaman pilot starred Justin Hartley, who played Queen Arrow in Smallville. So, uh, be, uh, before he played uh, Oliver Queen, he played Upper Curry. Also, another, um, yes, another time I saw Aquaman on TV was um, when he made appearances on Batman, the Brave of the Bold. I mean, the Brave in the Bold. Yes, and he was kind of like a regular in a way. I mean, he didn't appear in every episode, but um, he was one of those uh, most frequent, frequent um, characters who appear on the show. And um, he did have his. Uh, Famous, you know, origin green costume, like in the Super Friends. However, uh, he did have a beard, not a long beard like in Justice League, which later became Justice League Unlimited, but up to here, something like that. And he did have uh, short brown hair, and also um, in that series, he would, well, he enjoyed uh, going on adventures with Batman and you know, saw Batman as his best friend. And uh, Aquaman would always say, 
I was raging, you know, all the time. No. As for the history of, uh, well, yeah, of Aquaman in the comic book, well, um, well, I learned that, um, well, for one thing, his orange can has changed many times. You see, um, in the, the yes, uh, well, uh, in his original orange can, um, he was, uh, the son is a, uh, marine biologist or something, and he did some experiments in his son so he can, you know, breathe underwater and communicate with marine life. And then came the Silver Age, and Aquaman's orange can was uh, changed, where, um, well, uh, he became the son of a lighthouse keep, a keeper and, uh, and a lady woman named Adlana. Uh, because of his dual heritage, he uh, could, uh, he was given all the powers that made him Aquaman, like super strength, and let's see, he could breathe underwater, communicate with marine life. And then another change in his origin was that, well, um, well, Aquaman was the uh, son of a uh, Queen Alana and a wizard. However, because of uh, because he was born with blonde hair, the uh, Lanius wanted to uh, get rid of him because well, they saw that Bill with blonde hair as a sign of bad luck. But Volko, he uh, wouldn't hear nothing about superstition or mythology and did everything he can to uh, save Aquaman and uh, Queen Alana. Not only that, but at birth he was given the name Oren. And on the surface, he was given the name Arthur Curry. And then, uh, yes, um, also, um, shortly after I became an adult, I heard that um, Aquaman, you know, was one of the least popular superheroes, at least in DC Comics, and now, he did have, yeah, because of his portrayal in the media, you know, in the past. I mean, he did have a season uh, with a cartoon in the 60s that were mentioned Aquaman. I mean, that, uh, however, it wasn't until the 1970s when uh, the ridicule started, you know, when he first appeared on the Super Fan. Because, well, um, the whole scene, it seemed the only way Aquaman uh, is useful is when he was around water, because uh, he's a water-based superhero. And he, was in, and he was like, if he and all the other heroes were at a desert, then there was, um, well, there's nothing much he could do, because, well, um, there's not uh, that many water desert, so, so because of that, he's been made fun of for many years to come. However, there have been many attempts to take him seriously uh, over the years. One thing was that, well, um, for one, his, his, uh, his image was altered, where he was giving, uh, he was giving more muscles, and as well as a uh, long blonde hair and a long beard, and his uh, hook hand, or hook arm. And, that probably uh, was the uh, version that was seen, I mean, they want to go with in the Justice League cartoon. Because it became Justice League Unlimited. Of course, and also in, in the Superman anime series, and even Smallville, uh, there was other attempts to take him seriously. However, it wasn't meant, uh, yeah, about the, um, well, uh, eventually, uh, Aquaman went back to his, you know, original look with the short blonde hair and, you know, the orange and green costume. Of course, uh, instead of having a hook for a hand, he had a, well, I think his left hand was made out of water. And then came the New 52. And, uh, well, even though I haven't read it, uh, you know, back when I first knew, that series, back when I was new, I did uh, learn that, uh, 
Aquaman has now become a popular character. And uh, he became one of the coolest characters now, yeah, you know. It was no longer being made fun of. I mean, I mean, the virtuals didn't make fun of him because they didn't know about Anubi 2. But uh, I heard that his adventures in Anubi 2 were, uh, his early adventures in Anubi 2 were uh, doing well, and people who read the comic book, uh, they uh, liked it. And then came Aquaman's first live action very appearance in the movie. His first movie, a bit, life action movie, a bit. Now, uh, when I first learned that uh, Jason Momoa was going to play Aquaman, I was kind of uh, confused because, well, uh, he didn't look anything like the Aquaman from the comic books, at least, you know, the one I'm familiar with. You know, with the uh, scrub on hair. And me wanted to take a lot, uh, uh, you know, uh, given his beard and of his hair, so he you know, looked like the um, Aquaman in the comic books, but no, no, they kept Jason Momoa's beard and long hair, and they even um, put these images on his body to make it look like that too. And well, uh, Jason Momoa's uh, Aquaman's life action appearance, or at least Jason Momoa's appearance as Aquaman, well, first appeared in. Uh, in the cameo, Batman v Superman, Son of Justice, where uh, Diana Prince, you know, Wonder Woman, she was uh, looking at some um, these archives, you know, the footage, and Aquaman was in it. And then came the Justice League cartoon, I mean, the Justice League movie from 2017. And, um, Yeah, see, they were the other heroes, you know, with uh, Super, with Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Cyborg, and then Superman came on later, you know, and they defeated the threat. And then we had the uh, first ever live action Aquaman movie. That we just moment, and I saw it in theaters, and it, it was, uh, yeah, I did enjoy it. I mean, I don't have it on Blu ray DVD, but, um, Yes, and um, and because of that movie, Aquaman's popularity is now at the same level as Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. So after all these years of him being ridiculed, Aquaman is now finally one of the coolest superheroes ever, and it's all thanks to Jason Momoa. Oh, and I forgot to mention about uh, Mara. Well, um. Well, about her, I learned that she came from a, uh, well, originally, uh, she came from another dimension called, uh, well, I forgot what it was, but I heard it was something about a symbol. Of course, in the Nuki 2, Mera came from a, a city called Sybil, which was a, um, another word, a city, city that was originally built by Atlanteans who were cast out because of some kind of, um, Rebellion and well, the rebels lost, and you know, they were banished out of Atlantis and they made their own city, and that's how they were to be. And there be some tensions between Atlantis and Sybil, but uh, Aquaman's uh, love for Mero helped um, to uh, keep peace between the two uh, kingdoms, the two cities, and yeah. But I'm only um, speaking from what I know about so far. Um, well, as a video games, well, uh, I do have uh, an Aquaman video game right here. Yeah, I have this. I bought this on for the Xbox, and this is from Amazon. And I bought it with my own money, so. Here's the this in the manual. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the this in the manual. Oh, uh, yeah, as for villains, we had um, Ocean Master, Black Manta, 
So that's all I know at the moment. Mm. So yes, that's oh yeah, and this costume. Uh, I bought this at Amazon and I wore it at a convention one time. And where do I wear it again? Well, uh, I don't know when it will be because I was going on the road right now. But um, yes. So uh, yeah, I think that's all I can say about Ultraman awesome in this video. And also, I'm not being paid by Wonder Brothers or DC Comics, you know, to talk about Ultraman. Awesome I'm just sharing my thoughts on the character. So yes, I think that's all I can um, say about Ultraman awesome in this video. And also, uh, please subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot. And also. Please share this video on social media like Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. So that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.